<laughs> what have you got there, Ash? Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we have Full Balls Demolition Hammer Kit. Ooh. This is a Demolition Hammer SDS Max. This is the ultimate SDS you can get on the show. So we got this right here. It's got 32 jewels. Yeah. I'm so excited. What do you use this for? This is for demolitioning so we can rock up our tiles. We can dig. We can uh, bracelet break stuff. Oh there is God. more powerful models, but they get heavier and they have different bits. So we've got this one. Last time we did try a full ball one, SDS Max, and it just wasn't powerful enough for the digging I wanted to do. So we got the next level up, 32 jewels, double the power. We've got to see how it does. Let's do this. So I feel like a demolition. Oh. Ooh, well. I feel like a proper demolition expert. Rookie error. Oh, there you go. Ooh, this beautiful. Big beast, full bore. You get two well protected chisel bits. We're not going to be using these at the moment. Okay. I got a clay spade because I'm going to be doing some digging in my first first kit. But let's look at this. Hit it. Oi. Wow. Let's that is this. a beast. Looks like a video game prop. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have some fun with this. And you know what? It comes with an obligatory sticker. Are you going to stick this in their car? That's what I want to know. If it does the job, I'll go full bore for you. Okay. You get a, oh, this looks a bit open, or is it a bit dented, but a tub of grease. Mm -hmm. It should already be pre-filled with some grease at the top here. And this is a handle that can be moved around and dotted in. I guess I'm gonna hold it in this way. To start the show. I'm gonna take a look at the manuals and there are some warnings where it says, congratulations on purchasing a full bore demolition hammer kit. It is being designed for rapid breaking and chipping of concrete block and masonry products. Nice and heavy. Nice. I do like this handle more than the last unit. I remember the handle kept on spinning off. Let's hope this one is gonna be tighter, but it feels a lot more sturdier. It feels like it'll do some nice damage. Wow. Now you do get, I guess, a short cable. So you're gonna either get extension lead plug it in it's not battery battery operated <laughs> so as you can see i've been getting into landscaping I actually dug out all these trees yuccas dracaenas roots get into the base been using just a lovely lovely spade getting all the action digging in however there is this one root that i'm just struggling with I've tried a spade it's just too i can't get anywhere with it it's too hard I've tried a hammer drill and it's it's very difficult. That's the as far as I can go. I've tried paddling it with my hands. So instead we're gonna be using the clay spade and it's got SDS Max. So we're gonna plug that into the unit and see if we can dig out this root off the ground. So we got the beast. This is the root I'm gonna try digging out. Now, unfortunately, I can only put in the spade backwards. Maybe there's a way to spin it, but I just wanna get going. Yeah, I can feel there's a nice root here that he's taking off. It just floats through the mud. Let's see if I can take down this. Oh, it just destroys that tree. Any part. You can smell it. So far, it feels very powerful. Tighten up the handle. I guess what you need to do, be careful not to overdig, because if you overdig, you might struggle to pull it out because it only goes one direction, which is down. went around the circle. I could smell the motor, the motor burning. It smells nice. So just for my back, I'm gonna be switching sides. 
because if you dig too much on one side, you really feel the muscles on your right side bulk up. That's not getting anywhere. Okay, damage and hammer that portion. So I am able to dig with the hammer. <clears throat> Ash, that is great work. I think we probably just want to stick with one area, try and get some leverage up beneath the root and then we can kind of pop it up. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's a good idea because it is. It is good, isn't it? There. Look at that. It's getting there. Maybe if I get the hammer, and go underneath diagonally. It and give you a bit of space to go a bit forward in. I like the sound of that. All right, We're you take over there. the spade. I'll do the hammer. Thank you so much. <sighs> Clay spade was a bit fun to use, but I think I need to use a dedicated chisel bit. So this one will be a lot sharper just to cut through the roots because it seems to be every single time I go near the roots with the clay spade, because it's so curved, it kind of slides, the roots slide across it. So let's get this guy out and replace it with the chisel. I think it's stuck in the street, you know? Wouldn't be Ashkara to not get it stuck in the tree. <clears throat> okay, let's take a little rest then. I like the spade because it doesn't get stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, it's bigger. It really helped. It really, really helped. Still need a lot of effort, but it helped.